Uh, hi there, I'm Alistair Orr. Uh, I'm a new entrant to agriculture starting off in 2012. I've had two cases of sheep worrying, one being in December of 2014, where some young boys uh, had been accessing through our public right away, just let a young dog get out of control, uh, resulting in the four ewes uh, being worried. More recently, we've had a case where 21 ewes uh, were chased into the river uh, just about a week, 10 days ago. Um, they've never been seen since. We presume they actually have been drowned. There was nine worried dead in the same incident and a further six received serious injuries. The sheep, especially at this time of year, are heavily pregnant, carrying anything between one and three lambs. Um, and it's uh, just the simplest thing, just your dog just running freely is enough to just disturb the ewes, cause them to run. The impacts just in, in a few minutes can be devastating. Dog owners can find out about the Scottish Outdoor Access Code at justthedog.org.uk. There's guidelines there, there's also a leaflet has been made up you can download. What we're asking from people is just to be a responsible dog walker. Uh, don't allow your dog to chase or worry livestock. Don't access uh, fields where there's young lambs. Uh, also to keep your dog in a short lead and under control. A lot of farmers has got signs up just uh, various signs dating when the ewes will be lambing, if the ewes are in lamb. My advice to dog owners is, is the countryside is a great place to be. Uh, I, I work in it every day, love it to bits. Uh, it's good for yourself, it's good for your dogs, it's good for your children, for your own safety and for ours. Uh, the protection of the livestock, uh, just be a responsible dog owner, think and stick to the guidelines. Don't get your dog a bad name or risk prosecution. Check out the Scottish Outdoor Access Code at justthedog.org.uk.